How's it going guys? Like Tar Man. Well I hope everybody had a good holiday. I've been kinda just chilling, hadn't done a video in a week or two. Anyway, I'm uh, back doing a couple more videos for ya. Which is sure ain't because I'm making any money off them. I just do them because I like to share information with you guys. But uh anyway, uh got me a uh, SC seven hundred uh antenna tuner, a Yezu. Um found it at a second hand sale, got it for a pretty good little old price and uh I, I like that it's nice and portable and it feels good and solid. I mean, it's Yezu and uh, it's back when it's all made in Japan, so it should be pretty cool quality stuff. It does have an odd switch on the front here that I need to figure out, and uh, that is definitely not factory, and I'm not sure what he's got going on here. I do know I've kind of read a little bit about these, and oddly enough, they were designed to hook up directly to a Yezu radio, and it has an 8 volt input. So there is some mods out there to do a 12 volt input. I don't know if he did that on this or not, but I'll definitely want to do that if it's not done and mod it to 12 volt. Um, I don't have, I could probably find an eight volt supply, but you know, my bench is all set up for 12 volts. So I just assume feeds through 12 volts. So anyway, let me go ahead and get her open. Let's take a look inside and see what we got going on. Especially I'm curious about this switch and see what kind of condition this guy's in. Well, I got her apart and this is very interesting. Um, I don't know if you can see this or not, I'll try to get it close up to you there. I don't know if the light's good enough for you to see that or not, but uh, you can definitely see that it was modified with the switch. And for me tracing the wires back, it actually looks like it goes into two poles of a transistor. I can't read the number on the transistor, but uh, it's got the, or it would be the base and collector, or no, it'd be the emitter and the collector hooked up, and the base is not even hooked up. So I'm not exactly sure what they're doing with that transistor, and then I've got it. Uh, some thermal compound and I just got it mounted behind it. it looks like a screw behind there just kind of wedged behind there to kind of keep it cool so I guess they're thinking of generate a little bit of heat I have no idea um, my guess is they're probably using that transistor some type of step down for voltage or because uh, it needs 8 volts fed to it so uh, I guess the best thing for me to do is I'll get my old handy dandy uh, universal power supply out and uh, and feed 8 volts into it. I don't want to blow it up because I'm not sure exactly what it's doing yet, but feed 8 volts into it, get my meter, and see what my output is. If my output is, uh, you know, like 6 volts, then it tells me that it's, uh, they're using that as a step down. And uh, I don't know why they put it on a switch, though, unless they're wanting to be able to turn the lights on and off. Maybe that's that's the reason behind it. I don't know. I haven't had one of these before. It doesn't have a switch for the light, so I'm, I guess I'm assuming that once the power's on it, the light just runs all the time. So. Maybe that's the reason behind it. I'm just guessing right now by just looking at it. The rest of it, really clean. Um, super clean in here. And uh, as you can tell, well constructed. Got a built-in dummy load here. What do we got there? Look like 5 watt resistors. What are they? 1K? Yeah, so you have 20 of them. That would make, yeah, that'd make 50 ohms. So, so what is that? 20 uh, times 5, so... What would that work out to? About 100 watts right around there? Two times 50, yeah, that would be, uh, well, no, this would be two times five would be, yeah, it'd be 100 watts. And it's based at 150, so I'm not sure how they're coming with that unless it dissipates more or maybe those are 10 waters. But uh, anyway, let me, uh, let me go ahead and get, get my little universal power supply out here. Let's hook it up and let's do a little deciphering and see if we can figure out what exactly this is funky little transistor in here is doing and what the switch is doing okay I got my handy little uh, power supply here got it set to uh, got it set to uh, 8 volts looking at the wiring in here I could tell the plug they're definitely using the center as hot so let me just double check. It should be center hot on the power supply too, but let me just double check it to make sure. We don't want to hook anything backwards voltage wise up. Yeah, 8 volts. Yep, center hot. So I'm going to go ahead and hook this guy up. Like so. Uh, wipe the dust off of this guy. Where's my light at? There we go. I just try to get the light going there. Ah, uh, let's see here. So, okay, the switch definitely turns the lights on, and they are lighting kind of dim. 
So let's just see here what we're getting as far as uh, find me a good ground to work off of and uh, what do we get coming out of this transistor? Seven volts. So this as I suspected it's stepping it down. Stepping it down from seven, right? We'll go to 12 volts and see what we're getting as far as output now. A little high, it's 10 volts. It's stepping it down, but it's not stepping it down quite as low as I did. Apparently, it must be working that way. Light looks good on it. Definitely using it to step down. I don't know why they didn't just use a diode. You could use a diode to do the same thing. Maybe they're afraid it's going to generate too much heat. Interesting. <clears throat> See, I got 12 volts there, and then on the other side of the transistor. I got 8.46, that's what I should have. Huh, I thought I saw more than that last time. That's interesting. That's perfect. So they did it right. Okay, I'm cool with that. 8 volts out, 12 volts in. I seriously doubt that's going to generate much heat. So cool, somebody already did the 12 volt mod on it. That even makes it better for me. Go ahead and look at the inside of this real close. Nice, nice and smooth. I'll probably go ahead and throw a cleaner in it just to, uh, just because I have it apart. But I mean, from looking at it, it's really nice and clean as it is. But I will go ahead and do a cleaning job on it. Pretty well constructed. Man, this thing's heavy. I mean, there you got your chuck coil. These are different length feeds off of it. Another choke. Air gap capacitors, selector switch with the capacitor and inductor bank there. Got a relay there, which I'm guessing, yeah, that's just switching over to dummy load. So it's taking your input in. And it's either passing it through to the tear or it's passing it through to the uh, to the dummy load. All the lights seem to appear to work on it. Yeah, that's definitely just an on-off switch is what that is. I kind of like they did that. I wouldn't want the meter on all the time either. For one thing, it'll burn the bulb out and no need for it on all the time. So I definitely like that idea. Cool. Okay, well, let me uh, go ahead and spray her down. I'll clean the contacts in it just because I got it apart. And uh, go ahead and get it back together. And uh, we'll see if I can't get her hooked up and kind of check her out. Anyway, guys, have a great day. This is Electron Man. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Hit that thumbs up and uh, hit a like so that uh, I get more views. I mean, I always try to build my channel, share my knowledge with others.